One of these men has been called the man who knows everything. What is your name, please? My name is Norris McQuirter. My name is Norris McQuirter. My name is Norris McQuirter. Only one of these men is the real Norris McQuirter. The other two are imposters and will try to fool this panel. Tom Poston, Peggy Cass, actor-playwright Ossie Davis, and Kitty Carlisle. On to tell the truth with your host, Bud Collier. To Tell the Truth, brought to you this week by Winston Cigarettes. Good evening, panel. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Hi Good everybody. Tonight. I see a very warm welcome to you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Very nice to have you on our show. We nice have to the be here. pleasure of having your lovely wife on our daytime show. <laughs> Let's see now, you're starring in uh, Ballad for Bimshire, isn't Ballad it? for Bimshire at uh, the Mayfair Theatre. How are things going? Very well. As a matter of fact, we have a recording date next Monday. We should be on the... Uh, we're coming out in about 15 days with uh, an yeah. album. Oh, great. Yes. Great. That's very exciting. Well, continued success to you, boy. You deserve it. Thank you. Panel, please open your envelope, if you will. Please take out that first story card and follow along with me. I, Norris McWhorter, am co-author of one of the world's most unusual publications, the Guinness Book of World Records. People in general, and bartenders in particular, find the book extremely effective in settling arguments as to the biggest, the smallest, the highest, the lowest, the fastest, the slowest, the hottest, the coldest, etc. I have committed to memory most of the over 10,000 facts in the book and can tell you without hesitation who holds the record for eating the most raw eggs, what is the longest distance a flea ever jumped, what was the largest cake ever baked, what is the smelliest substance in existence, and who sports the world's longest mustache. My friends call me the man who knows everything. Signed, Norris McWhorter. <laughs> so, panel, we present to you three gentlemen all claiming to be Norris McWhorter, the man of 10,000 facts. Let's start this first round of questioning with the lady of 10,000 facts, Peggy Cass. Thank Peggy. you. Number two, this Guinness book, is that anything to do with the Guinness's uh, beer? Yes, it is. Thank you. Number three, what is the black velvet? Black velvet is Guinness with champagne. Thank you. Number one, where is Belle Doyle? Must be in Ireland. Thank you. Number three, what's the fastest mile and a half a horse ever ran? The fastest? Mile and a half. Fastest mile and a half a horse ever ran uh, was at Epsom in 1926. And I recall the time was two minutes, uh, 15 seconds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Archie Davis. Uh, number three, in which country does the uh, pie-eating contest, uh, was the last winner for the pie-eating contest held? Well, the last pie-eating contest was held in Milan to celebrate the 500th anniversary of the city. And in the contest between uh, a horse and an elephant, Number two, uh, which is the faster? A horse or an elephant? Horse or a horse. Uh, yes. Uh, number one, uh, is the ostrich, ostrich a racing animal? Yes. What is the record for the fastest ostrich? I don't know. Uh, number two, what's the record? The record for the fastest ostrich is uh, 54, I think it was called to 54.6. Uh, num number three, uh, who holds the... Kitty. Well, the mind reels at all these facts. Um, I would like to ask, uh, number one, what is the smelliest thing in the world? Stuff called ethyl mercaptan. Is it a chemical? Yes. I don't want to smell it. But I just... <laughs> number two, how far did a flea ever jump? What's the longest distance? 27 inches. How about that? <laughs> Number three, what is the hottest place in the world? The hottest place in the world is a place, well, it's St. Louis in New Mexico, uh, where the hottest recorded temperature was a plus 136 degrees in 1961, 
February the 15th. Thank you very much. Uh, number two, <laughs> did you go to Oxford? No, I didn't. I went to Trinity. Tom posted. Trinity, <laughs> Trinity. Uh, uh, number one, when am I going to open on Broadway? <laughs> I have no idea, but I hope it's a long run. Well, thank you. But obviously you don't know everything. Anyway. <laughs> uh, number two, do you know who Kenny McSaren is? I'm just kidding, number one. Number two, who's Ken McSaren? Oh, that I don't know. Do you know number three? Never heard of him. Uh, number one, do you happen to know who Ken McSaren is? I never heard of him. No, he's a great big eater, and I thought maybe he was in one of those contests. Number one, what is that smelliest substance used for? Stink bombs. Oh! Oh, you mean it's an unpleasant, it's not just uh, penetrating, it's unpleasant. School, school boys. Downright nasty. And that's all the time we have, panel. So will you right now mark your ballots? Without consultation whatsoever, and of course no change permitted once having marked, vote for number one, number two, or number three. Our team of challengers will be awarded $250 for every incorrect vote. Are all ballots marked? Very well, Tom, for whom did you vote? I voted for number one. I, I, I don't think that's a fast mile, and I don't think ostriches go that fast, so that's why I voted for number one. <laughs> Peggy. I voted for number two, because uh, over two minutes for a mile and a half, it e couldn't be at Epsom, because Aqueduct we run them faster than that, and that's right out here. And then the other thing is, Bell Doyle is a racetrack right outside Dublin, and if you work for the Guinnesses, I guess you ought to know where the track is. So I voted for number two. <laughs> Alfie Davis, your vote. I voted for number three because I thought his answers came quicker. And uh, he uh, acted as a man who might know all the facts, uh, have them at his fingertips. All right, Kitty. Well, I believed everything they all said. Because <laughs> I didn't know anything. But I voted for number one because he reeled that name off of the stink bombs very quickly and it sounded terribly <laughs> authoritative. Very well, there we have it, a widely split vote. And we see how close to the truth we have come as we learn now which one of these gentlemen actually is the man of 10,000 facts. So will the real Norris McWhorter please stand up? <laughs> you better watch out for Kitty from now on. I'm going to smell everything from a distance. <laughs> She's got a little too much knowledge. Uh, thank you. Number two, what is your real name, sir, and what My do you really do? Doesn't Sharp Bolster. I work for Harp International. <laughs> and number three, what is your real name, and what do you do, sir? My name is Jeffrey Blythe, and I'm the representative of the London Daily Mail in New York. Well, in checking the score, we see you did a very good job at pulling the panel. There were two incorrect votes, and that's good. At $250 each, that's $500, and that's good, too. <laughs> and we hope it brings you great joy, as you did to us. Thank you for being with us, gentlemen. That comes you to your way by, by way of Winston cigarettes, and you'll find a carton of Winston's waiting for you as you go out. Good night, and God bless you. <laughs> We'll put the panel back to work in just a moment. Meantime, here's something you'll enjoy. 